I'm Jason Keller. I'm an assistant professor in the School of Earth and Environmental Sciences. I'm an ecosystem ecologist, which means that I'm interested in how carbon and nutrients and energy flow through ecosystems. I'm particularly interested in carbon dynamics in wetland ecosystems and how those dynamics are related to global climate change. California has lost upwards of 90% of the, of the wetlands that were here. And when you lose these wetlands, you, you're not just losing the physical place where they existed. You lose the habitat for fish, you lose the habitat for birds, you lose the ability of them to, to remove pollutants from surface water before they enter into the ocean. So there's a real effort to improve them and to start to bring some of those wetlands back onto the landscape. Last semester we did a project looking at the soil coring in, in salt marshes. There's about 75 times more carbon in wetland soils than we emit every year from fossil fuel burning. They also release lots of the greenhouse gas methane to the atmosphere. So we've got these really important systems and nobody understands how they work. We take relatively large soil cores, so it's fairly physical work and it involves a crew of four to five students just to insert these cores into the ground and then to try and pull the cores back out of the ground. I guess what I'm looking for is students that are sort of really excited and passionate about doing research and, and that means getting their hands dirty and that means putting in the time in the laboratory one of the areas that we're investigating in my lab right now is exploring this really novel microbial process called humic substance reduction, which involves microbes that are using basically dead plant materials in place of oxygen to breathe. And we're really the first to show that this process matters in these peatland ecosystems and that this process directly controls how much methane comes out of these soils. One of the best things about working in a place like Chapman is that you do get to bring undergraduates into projects like this and create opportunities for students that they wouldn't have at a larger institution. So I have students pretty routinely doing all of the work on this project. This involves a lot of work with soils, manipulating soils, putting them into bottles, setting up experiments, running the samples on instruments in my lab, and, and working with the data to writing up the results in papers. Chapman students continue to sort of amaze me. They tend to think of things in new and exciting ways with fresh eyes and with a fresh perspective and coming up with really novel and, and intriguing experiments. So I think the students that, that I'm most excited about working with are the ones that really see the fun of science and they're able to engage in that in a really fun way.